guys got tired, they kind of went back into old habits. And uh, in order to be a, a really good receiving core, we can't do that. Uh, and they, I mean, it was it was everybody too, so it wasn't it wasn't nobody uh, in particular. It was it was every last one of them. How do you feel you guys blocked on some of the run plays and some of the screen plays? How do you feel they did blocking? In uh, they're they're better. Still got some work to to improve on. Uh, but uh, I think they was like light years better than, they were, than what they were last year. They understand that they need the block in order to help them out and help the backs out. You know, so uh, I feel like they improved in that a lot. Keel Schwartz had eight catches, 131 yards. It's a career game for him, I think. How much does that help his, his confidence going forward? Well, if his confidence went up, I probably broke it back down a little bit. Uh, like I said, he he was he was the guy that that uh, that got a lot of the balls that game and. Uh, you know they kind of, they kind of, you know, helped us out on that because he was able to maneuver his way and do what he do best is is maneuvering the inside and find those holes to sit in and he and he did that. The only problem is he uh he's, he's got a little tired and and went back to his old ways. So he understands and he understands what I want from him. But yes, he had a career day. He did. Based on what you've seen out of Youngstown State, do they do anything similar to Missouri, moving the safeties back, moving the corners eight to twelve yards off the ball? Uh, yeah, you know, the only thing is uh, that they, they play a little closer. They play a little closer, so it probably give our outside guys a little bit more chance to make plays. Uh, but I think the middle is still still pretty looking open for us. But you really never know. You really never know until you line up against all guys and actually see what they're going to do.